I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short. Christmas in Lent. Well, the Annunciation. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring that bell, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, if you love um, us passing on the faith to the next generation, like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization all about the gospel, keeps us a-rolling. Today, the 25th, is the Annunciation of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's normally not observed in the Lenten season. It's postponed if it falls on a Sunday. Well, if it, if it falls on a Sunday, it's postponed until after Easter. It is a little moment where, but I think we need this moment to point us to a greater reality, okay? The Annunciation is the celebration of the announcement of the birth of uh, of the nativity of Jesus. The angel goes to Mary and he says to her that she's going to bear a child. And this is nine months before Christmas. And so if you're counting for Christmas, um, which seems strange while you're quarantined, um, Christmas is going to come. It's nine months away. The angel is already telling the virgin that she is with child. And I want to take a look at one verse in this, just so we can sort of rejoice in this day. And I want you to take your mind off of the virus and everything and fix your ears on this virgin. Okay? And what he's going to, and what what her child is going to do. Okay? In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to the city of, of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. <laughs> Think about that as you sit at home. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you in your want. The Lord is with you in your despair. The Lord is with you in your loneliness. The Lord is with you in your pain. He's got gotcha. you. The Lord is with you. He's always watching, unlike my dog who's asleep. He's with you. But she was greatly troubled by the saying and tried to discern what sort of greeting it might be. And the angel said to her, do not fear. Don't be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive and bear a son and you shall call his name Jesus, which means the Lord saves. Yesterday's video about whether or not we were being punished for our sins with the big deal being he does what he does to save, all you need to do is look at his name. His name means Yahweh saves. That's what he's up to. That's what he's always doing. Trying to figure out ways to save. He will be great and be called the son of the most high and the Lord God will give him to give him the throne of his father, David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob and over his kingdom and there'll be no end. And she asks, how can this be? I'm a virgin. Verse 34. And he's, and the angel answered her, the, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the glory of the Lord, of the power of the most high will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called holy, the son of God. Behold, your relative Elizabeth in her old age has conceived and a son six months old, and she, she was called barren for <clears throat> 37. For not impossible are all words from the God. Nothing will be impossible with God is on t-shirts and stuff. No. All words are possible with God. Are no words are impossible with God, depending on whether you like the, negative, the double negative for emphasis. And this is so important. For us today, I forgive you all your sins means I forgive you all your sins. Take eat my body given for you for the forgiveness of sins means eat this body, drink this blood for the forgiveness of sins. This word is able to save, means it's able to save. He who believes and is baptized shall be saved, which means in a world where everything is falling apart, we have comfort and, and hope 
over and against everything else in the word of God because no words are impossible with God. Every word he says he's able to do and every forgiveness he gives, he's able to give and every mercy he gives, he's able to mercy because no words are impossible with him. That's what you need to take from this respite from the Lenten season that God announced to a virgin a reality that changed the universe, an impossible word that she was with child. And that child was born to save. And into our suffering and into our fear, into our dread and into our loneliness, he says, I'm going to save you. I sent my son in order to save you. I'm going to bring you out of this Egypt and I'm going to rescue you. Christmas is going to happen. Either in this world or in the next, Christmas for you is going to happen and you'll be joyful and you will be happy and you will be, for, but, but, but most of all, you will be forgiven by the one born of Mary. So a blessed Annunciation Day to you. The announcement that the baby is going to be born, Christmas is coming. Lent will be over. The quarantine will end and he will save you. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.